right guys I am part two now as you can see the SPMC is currently now cleared it's got no data no cash anything like that I'm now about to open it for the first time after clearing it as you can see it's preparing for that first run And there we go, we've got a blank Cody now. Let me just try to get this uh, camera to focus a little better whilst it's just doing a few updates. There we go. Now, the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you've got the total installer repository added. So I'm just going to add that now. You just want to make sure that it's in caps guys I did check up on this and it is indeed caps so you want I dot total XBMC TV and to name that you just want to call it total or whatever it is that you want to install it call it as sorry but I just tend to call it total You want to hit OK. That's now added to your file manager. You want to go to system, add-ons, install from zip, total, total installer.zip and just allow that to install. As you can see it's doing some doings in the bottom right As you, and it's now telling me that total installer is in fact enabled. So we're going to go back and we're going to go to our programs, program add-ons, and there we go, total installer. The first time you install this, guys, it will be version 0.1, but when you open it, it will download the new version and install it. Give you a little pop-up telling you that it has. You want to come back out of this if you get a blank screen, guys. Reopen it and it will um, load a video. You just want to stop that and there we go we're now updated and you're back to this so I'm just going to quickly sign in again with the account that I made on the total um, forum and then we're ready to restore guys right guys so we're backed up we're signed in to the total installer add-on now Previously to this, I got the download, I downloaded the zip files, sorry, that I had uploaded to Dropbox. So there was two zip files, if you remember. I downloaded them back to my downloads path. This is a different stick. So downloaded them from the um, ES File Explorer cloud section, signed in with my Dropbox account copy and pasted the two zip files from my Dropbox into my downloads folder on my Fire Stick and then in the community builds setup I've just navigated again to the downloads folder the exact same way we did in the previous video when choosing where to back up to and I'm just going to hit OK now I'm going to come back out of this and it should have hopefully signed me in Yep, there we go. I've got the welcome back message. Now, to restore your build, guys, it's the same process. So you want to go into the community build section. You will get the same pop-up. You want to this time select restore a locally stored community build. 
So you want to hit that, you'll get another pop-up, just close off that, and it will take you straight to your downloads folder, guys. That This is the exact folder that you navigated to within the settings, and as you can see, there is your community builds folder. You want to select that, and you want to select my builds, and there we go. We've got the test zip file, and we've also got the GUI settings. I'll talk to you about them in a minute. So I'm just going to select that test.zip, and it will ask me, we highly recommend backing up your existing build before installing any build. If that's the case, and you have already got a build installed and you don't want to lose it, then do create a backup first. But this is a fresh install, so we're just going to go straight to install. And it will then ask you if you want to keep your existing database. Again, that's completely up to you. If you've already got stuff installed on here that you'd like to keep, then keep the existing. If not, you can overwrite it. I'm going to select overwrite again because, as I said, this is a fresh install. And it will go through the same process, guys, of restoring the zip file. Now, providing this doesn't take too long, I'm going to let it run its course. When doing the backup in the last video, guys, I cut it at the end. But it literally took maybe three, 3 minutes 40 seconds or something like that to create the zip file. Nothing more than that. You, you will notice when it gets to around between 13 and 16-ish percent when creating your backup, it will be your textures. That will take longer than the rest of the process, guys. So if you think it's froze on around that percentage and it's got it's doing zipping up the textures folder, don't worry, it's just taking a little bit longer because it's a little bit larger. But as you can see, this is going pretty quick now. So I'm just going to let it run its course. And just for anyone who's curious, I do not have super broadband, guys. Especially using Wi-Fi. I'm a little bit better wired. I get good speeds wired. But when using um, Wi-Fi, I just get maybe 20 meg, 25 meg at the most. Right, so there we go. It has now restored that build and you will get this pop-up. Step one complete. Now please change your skin to the one on this build was designed for. So we're going to select OK and it will take us to our appearance settings. All you want to do is if it's using a different skin, like the, the, what the backup I made was the Confluence skin, so I don't have to change it. But for instance, if I was using Aeon Nox, I would come into these settings and select Aeon Nox from the menu. It would have installed it from, you know, doing the backup and stuff. You just want to select that and then it will change your full setup. And there we can see, guys, I've now got the same setup yet again. Regarding the GUI settings... If you do have some things missing, for instance, wallpapers or shortcuts or something like that, you want to go back into Total Installer through the same process and you want to do the exact same for this zip file here. I don't need to do this because I've all, I don't need to. I'm not missing anything. But if you do find that your build is a little bit broken when first restored, you will need to restore that, guys. And that's about everything that covers making a new backup. I hope this has been helpful. I know a lot of people have struggled when it comes to creating backups, especially on the Fire TV stick, because it's just a little bit annoying that there's no USB port. But hopefully this will get you up and running, guys. Cheers.